in the US solar market, there are definitely some major positives. Um, the utility scale market is booming. 2015 and 2016 are going to be huge years. Um, but we're also encouraged to see the increased adoption of solar in the distributed markets. Um, although the consumer by and large isn't fully uh, um, knowledgeable or aware about solar yet, um, we do hear more and more stories every day of homeowners asking important questions about the technology and the panels going on the roof. We also see uh, more and more types of creative financing um, in the market, and these are all some good signs of growth in the U.S. market. Hanwha has some great new things going on in the market. Um, Hanwha Solar One and QCells recently merged, creating a new global solar power leader. Um, we have our executive headquarters in Korea and our technology headquarters in Germany. Um, we are the largest cell manufacturer, and now with module manufacturing locations spread out around the globe, we truly are the most flexible tier one module manufacturer. I think you'll hear a lot more about us um, in the coming months as customers realize what a solid tariff immune option they have in Hanwha Q cells. Um, we're also debuting our new quantum technology, which is a high efficiency poly cell, and it also comes in a darker version. So in appearance, it mimics a full square mono cell. Um, it's a great application for the residential market. There are probably three key ingredients to a successful module manufacturer. Um, one would be financial stability, a second would be advanced technology, and the third would be great post-sale service. Um, all three of which Hanwha QCells has. The financial stability of Hanwha, which is a global Fortune 500 company, um, and the advanced technology of QCells, that's been um, a great marriage. Um, so we're going to be here in the market for a long time, and we're just excited for everyone to try our product. We are going to continue to see emerging technologies um, in modules, and we'll also hear about energy storage, uh, microgrids, um, more types of creative financing. But from a market perspective, we're really keen to see what happens in Latin America, um, and we've dedicated specific resources to tackling that market. So there are some um, obstacles in the U.S. market, chief among them um, conflicts with utilities, uh, continued discussions about net metering, um, expiration of the ITC, and tariffs. Um, in the short term, we're very concerned about um, the expiration of the ITC. Um, while it's caused a huge surge in projects in 2015 and 2016, it may be harder to realize those same projects um, after the expiration of the ITC. And so the efforts of SIA and other industry leaders um, in speaking to the government to possibly extend the ITC or enact rules like commence construction, um, those are things we're going to watch very closely. On the long-term side, we are concerned about tariffs. Um, you know, it's been a very huge cloud over the industry, um, causing a lot of uncertainty. And uh, even though there's been administrative reviews and negotiations among leaders, um, there hasn't been a clear solution. And so we at Hanwha QCells are not as concerned because we have tariff immune options all around the world. But from a personal standpoint, I'd like to see some clarity from the government, um, which would be better business for everyone.